go to heaven, goats go to hell. Hey everybody, um, I found another set of atheist questions. Woo! Um, so, um, I'm over here again because the air conditioner is noisy. I actually, this is my second time recording this. First time, the air conditioner was just way too loud. So, I'm recording it here. I know the sound is a little muffled here in the hallway, but what can you do? Okay, so these questions are from Imaginary God Bless You. Okay, on to the first question. Okay, when somebody sneezes, I say bless you. I don't say God bless you, I just say bless you. Um, I've always said that, even when I believed in a God. I, it just, God bless you just doesn't, it, it just doesn't roll off the tongue. But uh, the reason I say bless you is I just think it's polite. Um, but then I say, like to my friends and stuff like that, I say bless you when they cough, when they burp, when they fart. So it doesn't really have much meaning for me anyway. Uh, but I, you know, when a, when a stranger sneezes, I do say bless you. I just think it's polite. Um, I don't. I think that, um, I think that they're just figures of speech. When you, uh, when you say, uh, um, when you say, you know, God damn it, you know, you're not actually asking God to damn something. You're just saying, um, you, you know, it's just a figure of speech. There's nothing, um, there's nothing implied in it, um, or at least I've never felt like there was or anything. Um, also, you know, thank God, it's just like saying, it's just like saying, uh, you know, hooray, <laughs> you know, or, you know, what luck. Um, some theists make me mad, um, particularly, um, fundamentalists. Um, I would include in that category evangelicals and born-agains, but uh, not all of evangelicals and born-agains are fundamentalists, um, but they tend to be. Um, but it's, it's the ones that take the Bible literally and, you know, don't really put a whole lot of, um, uh, you know, they, they, they interpret the Bible just like everybody else does, but they interpret it only when it suits them, and um, I find that very hypocritical. Um, they're the ones that I that I that I have a problem with. Um, religion in general, I would say, I would say traditional religion I dislike because I think its its primary purpose is to control people. However, I do think that um, uh, that there's this modern form of religion where religion is sort of evolving into this uh, into this new type of religion that's more about spirituality rather than anything else and I don't really have a problem with that I guess when I was a kid I was sort of a, uh, a de facto Christian uh, my parents were Christians and so I was by default a Christian but um, um, there was a point in my life, uh, like my, uh, actually up until, up until just recently, um, so I would say pretty much throughout my 20s, I, I was, uh, I was into what might be called the occult, if you want to call it that, um, uh, I was into Wicca, Paganism, Kabbalah, um, uh, the Western Mystery Schools, all that, all that cool stuff. I liked the idea that I could, you know, uh, manipulate physical reality um, and while it does work to a certain extent and a lot of people are going to criticize me for saying that it, it, but I I, I have it, it, it's not magic <laughs> it's, or at least it's not miraculous um, uh, there's nothing supernatural going on um, uh, so while it does work it's not, uh, you know, it, it's not 
as advertised. I mean, obviously they're not really advertising, but like, you know, you watch movies like The Craft and, uh, you know, like the show Charmed and stuff like that, and it's nothing like that. You know, that's obviously a Hollywood dramatic stuff. I mean, everything works within the laws of physical reality. Um, uh, but yeah, I was uh, a Wiccan slash pagan for a while. Um, I, I don't really think that um, a belief in God uh, really, well, when I, when I believed in something that could have been called God, I called it the divine, um, it didn't, I, I, I would say that I valued my life the same as I do now. Um, I, I believed in reincarnation at that time, um, and, but even though I believed in reincarnation, I still knew that I would never be this exact person ever again. So I, you know, I had to, I still had to live my life as if this was the only life I would get. Um, my biggest fear is people. Um, thing about YouTube is I am talking to a camera right now. This is a camera. There's no person there. <laughs> um, uh, I'm completely relaxed, well not completely relaxed, um, especially when I first started out I, I wasn't completely relaxed, but I'm much more relaxed than I would have been uh, if I was actually talking to an actual person. I, I, have, a, I have a social anxiety um, and uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of people. That's probably my biggest fear. I, um, I also wanted to mention that I am I am also, and I know this, this is going to sound irrational coming from an atheist, I am afraid of hell. Even though I don't believe that, it, I, logically I know that it couldn't possibly exist, but I am scared to death of it. It, it, it freaks the shit out of me. Just, just, the, just the concept of it, it, it scares me, and I, that's what fears are. Fears are very irrational. Um, like I know that uh, when I talk to people, you know, they're not gonna, they're not gonna, you know, bite my head off or anything like that. But I'm still afraid of people. Uh, same thing is true for hell. Even though I know it doesn't exist, I'm still scared of it. Um, so that's how that goes. <laughs>